What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Showtime and this is Boys of King, and we're back with the Pokemon Shield Surprise Lock. Hold up. Oh, that's probably appearing there because I haven't bought it on Shield. Well, that's going to be annoying, but a whatever. Anywho, a little bit of a team recap since this is a brand new recording session. We have Seismitoad at level 62, barely holding on to that Saw Sand, Rock and Bulldoze, Drain Punch, Rock Slide, and Bump Beam. Donkey Bong! The Rillaboom at level 60, holding on to that Rose Incense, smelling so sweet. Rock and Drum Beating Grass Pledge U Turn Knock Off. Norman, the Green Goblin, no, 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 the Grim Snarl at level 60, holding on to them leftovers because he just can't come, he, he just can't finish them. Rock and Follow Play Spirit Break, Thunder Punch, and Fake Out. Lucario at level 61. Ooh, I still need to go and rename. Hmm. Maybe I'll go do that before starting this, actually. Anyway, we're in the Wise Glasses. Rock and Dragon Pulse, Close Combat, Aura Sphere, and Meteor Mash. I need to try and get rid of those two physical moves eventually, but you know, whatever. If I can't, I can't. <sighs> what the fuck are they doing down there? They better not be fucking with our shit. Boy from the Grudge, the Mimikyu, at level 60, wearing the Expert Belt. Rock and Shadow Claw, Wood Hammer, Pain Split, and Play Rough. And Hinata, the Cinderace, at level 62. Hold on to the Torkoal, Rock and Pyroball, Bounce, Revenge, and Fire Pledge. Now, without hopefully any more fucking noises going on for no fucking reason. We can get on with things. First, we go to the Pokemon Center to see if we can rename Lucario. Should I name a Goku or Ryo? Uh, I think Ryu would probably make more sense, because it looks more like the Hadouken than the Kamehameha that War Sphere does. Yes, please, let me get something better. Yes, Ryu from Street Fighter. No, I don't need another nickname. The Ronari has a nickname. Fuck off. We're... Actually, I should also fly to Snow on side real quick. Just to sell the thing I can. And since it's 15 minutes to midnight when I'm recording this, I can pick up my couple of daily things and then move on with other stuff. So fly over oh, to Stone Outside. <laughs> yep, fun minutes are pausing. I probably should have washed my hands before starting, but whatever. A black mess on a black controller isn't going to make a big difference, and they need to honestly probably grab a cloth and clean this eventually. Sure. Ooh! Actually, a magnet would be really cool for when I take on Nessa. Give it to Grim Snarl and, you know, have that Thunder Punch powered up. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be down with that. I'd totally be down with that. Okay, I need to, like, turn on my background light a little more, because it's actually a bit darker than I would like right now. Okay, that's a little better. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm glad this is one of the times it does help. This is the wrong Pokemon Center. Uh, I think? No. Okay, this is the one I won't be at. I Wait, what is it? No, it is not. Shit, okay, I know there's like a tube or something I can take to get there faster. Hmm. 
No, I'm not on my mind to think of that. Oh shit, I gotta ride my bike all the way back there. Pretty sure I shouldn't need to since I was in the Pokemon Center, but whatever. Seriously, the Pokemon Center I was in? Right there. Right there to the left. Oh god, hop. What? What the fuck do you want? Now I have time for any of your shenanigans, Hop. I, I really do not. <sighs> Get yourself checked in. How about you shut the fuck up? Fucking little bitch gonna smack his shit in. Actually, I already did. I'm here for the ch ch champion. Oh, champion cup. Uh, my first opponent is Nessa, I believe, speaking of. What the fuck? Um, hello? Do I have a magnet? I must have already had a magnet. Alright. Morning. Yeah, yeah, I got, I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of potions. I'm ready to go on that aspect. All right, the grass dude's here. <sighs> Memories. Uh, so who is my first on the point? Do I need to talk to everybody? I think I need to talk to everybody. You thick. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. The oh, fuck you authorized? Oh, okay. What? Yeah, sure. Dude, asshole. Whatever. Not gonna worry about it. Seriously. Oh, wait, no. Bead interrupts first. Right. Okay. I'm preparing for the wrong thing. I won't be using Norman for this fight anyway. So, yeah. Swap over to you. Wait, would you be the best option? I mean, I guess you'd be the best option. Since, like, you're the only one with a steel type move and nobody has a poison type move unless I can learn a poison or dark type move. Or dark poison or steel type move and I just haven't noticed. Nope, obviously not. Alright. And then, yeah, Lucario is my option. Hopefully, things do not go south. Yep. Pretty sure it's Bead, then Nessa. Uh, I might have to fight Alice. Wait, yes, Alistair again? Either. Yeah, I think it's Alistair again, and then Raihan. I might be wrong about that. No, 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 not. I think it's... I know Nessa for sure. And I know Raihan for sure. So, one, two, three. So, who's the second one I fight? Uh... Uh-huh, your will hasn't been broken yet. I totally believe you, bro. Alright. That more while I could probably honestly take down with an aura sphere or something. And the intimidate kinda of sucks, but whatever. I'll deal. Oh again! Yeah, see that's a one shot. 
this and powerful one shot carnivore. I can. I can. What can I kill that with? Donkey Bong has knockoff. Oh, I can use Shadow Claw. Yeah, I can use Shadow Claw. That sounds perfectly valid. Honestly, I kind of want to try and finish recording this tonight. So I can just work on editing it and then figure out what I'll do for Pokemon playthrough for the rest of the month. Oh, well, obviously one thing is going to be the Mystery Dungeon beta, which I still haven't done yet. I keep thinking it's a fucking fairy type, or fire type. Oh my god, I know he's a fire, fire dark. Oh, Jesus Christ, fairy type trainer too. Oh my god, it's going to take so long for that to get stuck in my head. Like, I already realize that... You know, Galarian Meowth is a Steel type, and Galarian Stunfisk is a Steel type, and instead of it, an Electric type, and you know stuff like that. But I mean, hey, that still was one shot. So, ah, uh, what the fuck did you just say? I don't know what the fuck you just said. Who am I going out to, Ryu? Come on, bro. Get out here and do the whole. Anime protagonist, or not even protagonist, but smart ass thing. Oh, this is your last Pokemon, it's your thingamajig. Your uh, Hatterene, yeah, that thing. The thing that's pretty much a mech. <sighs> well, both of us don't do our last Pokemon. Let's see who gets the better of it, shall we? Now I've got a burning passion. So I'll tell you what, shit ain't gonna be me. I ain't gonna lose. Hell, you haven't even scratched the surface of my team yet. Granted, granted, levels are kind of close, so you could be up speeding me and doing some shit. You know, you're only eight levels above below me instead of, you know, ten plus like other things have been lately. And there is a Gigantamax Hatterene. Yeah, I really gotta do more hunts for Gigantamax stuff. Maybe Gigantamax Shiny Hunt? Mm -hmm. I think that'd be kind of fun. Maybe after the Slowpoke. Tomorrow I'm doing the Slowpoke. I say tomorrow when this is... Well, this is only like a day in advance or something. Didn't even need to try. Cause you a bitch. Yeah. This boy. This boy right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, bro. Uh-huh. Okay, so I know for sure Vanessa is my next fight. Uh, Pokemon are healed up. We're going to swap over to Norman as we originally planned. Because I'm 90% sure she doesn't have a Seismitoad delete at least. And we're only at 13 minutes so we can do both of them. And, yep, bay number two, Nessa. Ah, God. Just, mm. Now, granted, I wouldn't, the, the things I would do to her aren't as expensive as the things I would do to Nessa. Nessa? She is Nessa. Sonia, yeah, that's, that's what I meant. I don't know. The thing in front of me was what was in my mind, and that's why, whatever. Fuck it, Galissapod. 
bug water. Yeah, fine, sure. That's still sounding like an electric type weakness to me. Uh, see, Sonya and her are girlfriends too, so that makes it even hotter. Bam. And now take my thunder puncher. Oof. Okay, bye. Hi, Sea King. Are you ready to get the thunder punch? <sighs> the one shot. Oh, God. He's so strong, so powerful. Back into the glow spawn? <sighs> Bruh. But y you know what, bro? I'm even gonna stay in on that shit. Because what you gonna do? Die? Somehow outspeed me and hit a really powerful bug type move and kill me? Oh, or that. Hmm. That's always the thing, too. Why do I use a dark type move anyway when he's bug type and that resists? I mean, it did just enough to where Thunder Punch will kill him, so I guess it doesn't matter. Thunder Punch! Hey, what you got next there, uh, sweetheart? Barrascuta. Ooh! Barrascuta! Dun 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 dun. Mm. See, that won't ever get old until the shield and sword, you know, sword and shield fucking. The idea of it entirely is, like, down. Because referencing heart will always be in somebody's mind. Wait, heart? Pat Manatar? And I'm the one who knows all about Class of Rock, and that's always a thing I forget. Nope, not even gonna. Oh, hey, another thing that'll just get. Th 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 lightning before the th 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 thunder punch. Lightning before the thunder punch. The rain before the thunder punch. Which I'm pretty sure boosts electric type moves anyway. So, one shot. Bitch, your bud is dead. Your ass is my dread. No, boy! Like, dr dread, no, nah, dread, no, 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 no. Ain't gonna be like that. Ain't gonna be like that. We got real boom. Donkey Bong. God, she, like, her body's fine, and her eyes are really just, they stare at your soul. Dynamax for that max overgrowth. Mm. What's gonna be hilarious is doing surprise locks after the DLC is actually released. Or just doing my casual surprise trades that I do every so often on my sword copy. Uh, see, maybe that'll be a reason to invest in the future. Unless I can just get the Pokemon through surprise trades. But, I don't know. We'll see. Because if I can just get the Pokemon casually through trading, that'd be a hell of a lot easier for to get stuff on shield. But, yeah, who knows. Maybe I'll actually invest in that. Because I'm pretty sure it just sticks to the game itself, so even if I restart the game. Oh, one shot the dragon Animax! Tread nah, you ain't gonna touch this! Match! We're only at 19 minutes? Jesus. I mean, I guess we'll fit the fucking fight with Raihan in with this. And then the other shenanigans will start, so that'll be probably the entirety of the next episode. Like, damn right I'm the winner. Uh-huh. Or too much. You know what? Why don't you 
and Sonya meet me after I beat, uh, what's his fuck? Leon, yeah, him, him. Okay, so it is Alistar I have to fight next, that's fine. I have Mimikyu and Grimmsnarl for that. Which, speaking of Grimmsnarl, hold item. Uh, what should I give you? I don't have the black glasses, sadly. Like, I really wish I had the black glasses, but I don't. Is black glasses even a thing in this game? Hmm. I mean, I could just give him back the leftovers. If I were candies, I could give people worst case scenario. Oh, I can just give him that. Yeah, I'll give him the muscle band. Instead of the leftovers, because that should work well enough, I would imagine. I'm going to put Boy from the Grudge up front. And we're going to run this fight with Alistair. We'll do Raihan in the next episode, unless this is like... Well, no, we'll just do Raihan in the next episode. Since... Uh-huh. Yeah, dude. We should totally bet- yeah, Like, dude, we should rock this shit. Like, you and your Gigantamax Gengar, which I still haven't caught what Like, I should hunt Gigantamax Gengar raids at some point. Maybe I'll fit this- fit that into the surprise trades tomorrow, because I'll probably run, like, a surprise trade weekend while doing the slow poke, and- like, maybe I'll pop my sword copy in tonight and just run in circles to get a bunch of eggs backed up so I can, you know, do the sparse trades and raids and all that stuff. And uh, I'm doing a lot of preparation, and this episode isn't even going to be uploaded until Sunday, where I'll be doing surprise trades around this time when this episode is uploaded. So look forward to that. Hmm. Actually, the one thing I didn't calculate is using a ghost type against ghost types. I really would be much safer just using Grimmsnarl. Yeah, I think after I kill the Dusk Noir here, that's exactly what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to Grimmsnarl. Hmm. Can you die, please? Thank you. I mean, I outspeed them, so I really have to worry about much. Mm. Chandelure. Um, yeah, actually, Chandelure I could take out with several different things. But we'll choose the Grim Snarl for this. Roar. What's up, bro? You here to take that, uh, quick, that clean, the f foul play? Mmm. You'd love to see it. Because that's not only a one shot, but it's a crit! It's a normal type move that I think it's special. No, no, thank you. Well, I mean, what are your defenses at, Mimikyu? That's a better question. Went there. Okay, you're actually quite the little tank. Squirt, you could take a ghost type move. In worst case, you get hit with a ghost type move, I switch you out for. Grimmsnarl. You know, just... I wouldn't say that's much of a worry. Because his defenses are actually really good. Okay, well, now, fuck you for one.
curse, Ola. Are you still a water type? Or are you just a, I think you're just a ghost type. At least that's what I'm gonna go with. Yonk. Oh, look at that one shot! Hit me, baby, no more times. Okay, so this is the real question. Is who can just... In, who can definitely one-shot this? You're at 140. You're at 160. He'd probably have a poison type move for Donkey Ball. You're at 210, so I think you're the winner. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Grim Snarl, it's your time to shine, boy. How lonely, how frightening. Oh. Send out that g g g gankar boy. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and Dynamax and hit you with a max darkness, and that'll be all she wrote. Swallow everything in darkness. I mean, I wouldn't mind darkness swallowing everything. The everything I had. Max ooze. Oh god, right, I'm a fairy type. Okay, that's only half damage. Unlike Rillaboom, who it would have killed. Probably. I honestly expected to outspeed it to be completely fair. Oh, look! <laughs> it's a one shot! Ugh. You know, I could actually see that sound coming out of his mouth when he dies. Just. Aww. Since half of his fucking face is in the ground. Sort of like fucking Chewbacca or something. Just. Wow. I can normally do that. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's how that goes. That's how that rolls. Yes. Yes. I've done it again. I sail right through. Gonna fuck your face. Mm. You know, it actually would have been funny if in this one Pierce beat Raihan, but you know, of course you can't have that. I'm sure I'm not the first one to have said that. Pierce, cutie. I'm Marnie. Uh-huh. The chinwag. Fucking chinwag with your sister. Oh. Okay. That said, I'm going to end off the episode right here and probably just dive right into the next one. So no team recap. By the by. And you'll know that if you see the end of this episode. Anyway, as usual, if you enjoyed what we saw, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, like, Facebook, follow, Twitter, the bell. And, of course, follow Twitch, because I try to stream every single day if I can, which, if you're watching this episode, you're, you're probably going to need to go over my channel, because depending on the time of day you're watching this, I'll be live on Twitch. It's been the Blazer King, signing out, Tata for now, peace.